what's going on guys welcome to another video so i guess uh you have known by now this is another uh, svg episode for app sheet uh because as i was browsing through your comments um uh, my attention uh is to karim el kafi's comments uh salam alaikum brother so basically the question is uh is basically a uh, request on how to do uh, multiple boxes in one svg uh, side by side to be exact and this tutorial will explain on how to achieve that all right so i guess it's uh something that uh, we will need to understand on how the placement works in SVG so that we can have the desired boxes to be exactly as how we want it. And this tutorial would show on how to do something similar as to what uh, Brother Karim has requested. So without further ado, let's check it out. All right, guys. So basically, we have actually did a few SVGs based on my um, previous tutorial. All right. So now we are going to do a very uh, specific SVG request by our brother Karim. All right. So brother Karim has actually pointed out a few reference to me. Um, two of them to be exact. And part of the reference is talking about how to create the SVG um, side by side. Okay. So we did the scorecard where we have multiple uh, placeholders in one uh, rectangle SVG. So we did this and we did the colored SVG. But now um, we want to achieve uh, an SVG would, that would behave something like this. So I actually did a, um, what do you call it, SVG that would sort of replicate the reference that Karim wanted. And now we are just going to uh, dive deep into how to actually achieve this, okay? So the way to read the SVG is, of course, by points, all right? So I'm just going to uh, open this up, okay? So now uh, I actually have uh, left comments in the uh, XML or URI code so that you can see each of the boxes that I've created, okay? I'm just going to do a very quick explanation on what it does, all right? So normally or the usual we have the uh, concatenate so again this will combine the multiple strings into one then we have the beginning of the um, encode, en encoded uh, svg so that's where this comes in all right so now the view box again is the um, I would say the attribute or coordinate. So since uh, SVG is based on the coordination of the lines and strokes. And then of course, the first box, uh, which I have actually left the comment here, which is box one, where you have the rectangle. All right. And I have the uh, color code, which is the percent. So percent twenty three is actually the um, hexadecimal code. Say for example, we have hash f six f c b b. Okay. So to use this in SVG, so this is the yellow color, light yellow. If I were to use this um, in the normal uh using the normal hexa code okay and if i were to save this uh let's give it a minute all 
Did it actually save? Yes, it does. So it won't work, okay? Uh, because we need to substitute the hash with percent twenty three, okay? So whatever color that you select, if you want to use the HTML color code or hexa code, uh, please don't forget to substitute the per hash with percent twenty three, okay? So if I were to save this. Then yes, then we have the light yellow. Okay. So back to the code itself. Okay. So we have the first box with the respective uh, coordinates, which is X10, Y10. And we have the width and height. Then we have the color fill, which is the color for the background for the box itself. Then I have the text, right? So this is the text element in the, in the SVG. So we have covered this in our previous tutorial. And of course, I brought in the uh, app sheet uh, expression so that it will dynamically display uh, some of the elements that I want to have in the SVG itself. Okay. Then, of course, how to make sure the boxes are arrange according to their um what do you call it uh position is to look it look at the coordinates itself okay you would see the x equals to 210 y equals to 10 same goes to here all right so this is where the square or rectangle would be and this is where the text would be as well all right so Basically, to read this is like the X and Y axis. So the second box is at coordinate 210 for the X axis and at 10 for the Y axis. And this is where the text would be displayed. Okay. And of course, for the third box, which is uh, the female, uh gender box which is the green color we have here so it is below from the first two boxes so definitely the x axis remains which is 10 okay and the y axis however is 110 so we just need to add another 100 units or points here and of course, we do the same for uh, the tax as well. So since there is a difference in 40, so 110 plus 40 will be 150. So all you need to do is to replicate back the same settings for the boxes. Okay. So that in the end, you will have it placed uh, accordingly based on the coordination. So that is how you would actually achieve uh, on having uh, multiple boxes in one SVG side by side. In fact, you can arrange up to more than two or maybe three or four according to your liking. And don't forget to play around with the uh, dimension and the view box as well. Okay. So I'm just going to head on to sort of complete this so that we can actually see the final product. Okay. So let's change the colors. First hash to percent 23. And perhaps, uh, okay, this will be fine. So the fill, let's change the hash to percent 23. Okay, let's click on save. So in the end, oh, okay, color is more or less the same with the first one. So let me just change this to something more unique, I guess. Because they all look almost the same. But anyways, more or less, that is basically how you can do 
to what you can do to achieve uh, multiple boxes in one SVG. Okay, so there you go. So I hope this would definitely uh, give you some clarity on what needs to be done in order to produce something like this for your SVG projects in AppSheet. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, don't worry, I have left the full SVG code that we have used in this tutorial today in the comments uh, in the description down below and feel free to use it to for your projects and do your necessary modifications if you find there is a need for it and of course if you like this video don't forget to drop a like if you find it useful and if you haven't subscribed please do so so that you can uh, you'll be able to see more contents like this in the future and of course, let me, let me know what else you would like to see in the comment section down below. So I'm Aris Azaha. Thank you for your time. I hope to see you guys in the next one. So take care. Bye-bye.